Whether it's a brick and mortar office or a home-based business, if you're a business owner with employees or you are self-employed, you need to have a lawyer on your team. That's because lawsuits and other legal complications can arise seemingly out of nowhere, and you need to be protected. Gene Bender is a South Dakota employment attorney with the Davenport Evans Law Firm in Sioux Falls. She's here to tell us why one of the most important business investments you can make is with a business lawyer. Welcome, Jean. Good morning. So let's talk about first why you should have your business attorney, employment attorney on speed dial. Well, I think that, you know, the whole employment landscape has changed a lot and it used to be people thought we were an at-will employment state and that meant that employers pretty much had free reign and um, really over the last couple decades for sure and in, in increasing frequency recently that's n really not the case and so employers need to understand all the employment laws that are out there and how they can get entangled in them to protect themselves from any claims they might have from employees. So what is the number one challenge that employers are seeing? I think the number one challenge that employers are seeing right now in our area and nationally actually is just the whole issue of workforce development, uh, the fact that um, it's just challenging out there. It's great that we have such a low unemployment rate, but at the same time, um, the recruitment and then retaining key employees is a huge huge challenge. I was at Good Morning Sioux Falls this morning and I think every single speaker talked about the challenges that employers are facing with, um, with workforce right now. And the changing technology, social media, how is this affecting it? Well, you know, the way that employers are recruiting employees anymore has changed dramatically. Gone are the days where you, you know, had a print ad, everybody looked at the same local newspaper. Now we have the benefit of using social media and, and lots of online uh, resources for recruiting, but along with those comes challenges, some of which people just don't even realize um, are out there that kind of ways that they can get in trouble through kind of a lot of times very inadvertent discrimination in the way those ads are put together because they're put together more by marketing people who understand Facebook marketing and understand you know Google ads and those kinds of things, but may not have been trained up in the, the whole area of, of recognizing um, potential employment pitfalls out there. Let's go into detail now about the pros and cons for this and just elaborate a little bit more. Well, the, one of the main issues that employers need to recognize is that there is a lot of liability just in hiring and onboarding folks. And the way that um, the templates are set up for a lot of these ads, you can, you can target, which is great, um, but you might, you know, if you think you need a Spanish-speaking employee, for example, um, it makes sense, and particularly when I talk to marketing folks, then they would put in one of the, in one of the um, targets that it'd be a Hispanic employee. Well, that has the effect of weeding out anybody who's not Hispanic, which would be a violation of federal law because you'd be discriminating against anybody that wasn't of Hispanic origin. So things like that people don't really realize, and so they need, some, um, they need somebody trained in the law to help them make sure that their processes are fully compliant because you know I don't have employers I don't run into many employers that are trying to run a fall of, of the law a lot of times it's just the fact that they don't realize where where those issues are and the me too movement has been a big issue what's next for this you know it has been we're just a little over a year into the me too movement now and honestly I think a lot of people don't really know exactly where we are um, there certainly has been, I've seen a lot of employers make kind of what I would think of as knee-jerk reactions to just any kind of hint of a, a discrimination, particularly a sexual discrimination case, and a lot of key leaders have found themselves out on the street um, for behavior that five, ten years ago was probably in their minds perfectly acceptable. And so employers need to really focus on this and try to stay ahead of it. What courts and juries are expecting has changed. And so they need to really go back and go back to bases, review their harassment policy, um, look at what kind of um, process they have for reporting harassment and investigating it and um, taking action on that. And then really look at their training that they're doing to try to bring it into um, into this, this new post Me Too um, era. Is reviewing policy something they should be doing annually with their employment attorney? We certainly recommend that people do, especially right now when things are changing. I mean, it seems like every new decision things are changing a little bit. And so 
Um, they're definitely, I've tweaked our clients' harassment policies a fair bit in the last year um, and really focused a lot more into um, requiring or uh, having kind of a zero tolerance, um, really putting a burden on bystanders to report things as well, um, and then really trying to incorporate just a general culture of civility and respect in the workplace overall because clearly the training that we've been doing for the last 20 years wasn't really um, addressing the core problem. And state and municipal laws, why can this be confusing? Um, the issue with state and, and municipal laws is that the federal government really hasn't done a lot of uh, legal changes. So what has happened is states and municipalities have kind of stepped into that breach, but then you end up with just a proliferation of confusing and contradictory sometimes laws. And, you know, if you're an employer and you have employees that work in South Dakota and other states, you have to be aware of what all those different states require. Sometimes a city will require something into, in addition to what the state requires. And even if you just have employees here in South Dakota where we kind of have the benefit of being in a pretty low regulatory environment, it can be very confusing because employees hear from their friends and their relatives that they have these rights which they may not have, but the employer might not understand that because people get confused. Yeah, and more specifically, if we're talking about marijuana and that mm -hmm. issue and how it is legal in some states and not others, and if you have your business in both, how can that create challenges as far as drug testing and things like that? It can be a big challenge because um, that is a whole area where things are changed too. When, when Colorado and the very first states were kind of legalizing recreational marijuana, um, it was pretty clear the courts were saying, well, that's fine for that state, but employers still can monitor those employees and take any action they want to because it's illegal federally, which is still the case. But now when you look at the national map, it's really pretty amazing how many states authorize at least medical marijuana, even, even the states directly touching South Dakota. And so courts have been much less lenient with employers and some states have even passed laws that say you know you cannot as an employer take an action against somebody applying for the job just because they have marijuana in their system you have to take additional steps and so it's making it more complicated for employers as they try to navigate this changing landscape all right thank you so much Sheen. lots of great tips today thank you if you'd like to know more about how the lawyers at davenport evans can help protect what you've built Give them a call at 605-336-2880 or find out more on the firm's website at www.dehs.com. In addition to corporate, business, labor, and employment law, they can help you with estate planning, financial services, and litigation.